everybody in here. Just a quick video to let you know how things are going. Um, <laughs> not sitting here on my porch drinking coffee, that's for sure. Um, okay, so I don't even have the tripod. I should get the tripod. I don't have the energy. So, 2.45 this morning, Betty had a bad seizure. And I'm going to get through this without crying because she's going to be okay. 2.45, she had a bad seizure, and it was so bad, she, um, her ba not her bowels, her bladder let loose. It got all over me, got all over the bed, all over the, the, the covers, the pillows, um, everywhere. And um, I just couldn't move because she, she was in a position to where she could have fallen off the bed. So I just kind of laid there with her and let her pee on me and um, waited until it was all over with and it was it wasn't like the other one where she just puts her hands out and put her head up and she kind of just shook a little this one her whole body was shaking and jerking and it was it was very very distressing um, but I didn't lose my composure I just sat there for a while with her afterwards and she did get up and she was a little confused afterwards but but then she was fine and so this morning I let her out and everything and I knew that I was taking her to the vet today um, I called the one in Henderson and they said well you can come at 2.30 and just wait and see if we can get you in and that wasn't acceptable to me um, plus it would be very hot in the afternoon and my van's having issues I'm gonna cover that in a minute um, I didn't want to put her through that so I drove all the way to an emer emergency vet um, in Jackson and they took a right in and um, Dr. Harris <laughs> he was wonderful um, he was very kind he wasn't judgmental um, he Betty just warmed right up to him just whew, she was such a good girl and I've got a little bit of footage in the vet I didn't film the whole thing in there just us waiting on the blood results um, drew some labs, took her temperature, um, did a neurological check on her, and um, so at the end of the day, the good news is no heartworm, no kidney problems, no liver problems, um, no anemia. Um, I was worried about parasites, um, and sometimes the parasites can, you know, cause anemia and, you know, actually cause brain problems too if they get bad enough. Um, so she had no, no reason to be having these seizures other than her blood sugar was low. And we talked about that for a little bit, and he said, yes, if her blood sugar dropped catastrophically low, which it would during the night, um, that could cause her to have a seizure. And we talked a little bit more about her behavior first thing in the morning, some days, you know, especially when it's kind of like rainy, um, how she she had trouble holding up her backside, excuse me, when she tried to pee, um, and he says, "Oh, that's interesting." And so we talked about arthritis. Um, he thinks that that is part of the issue, and so he has put her on aspirin twice a day. So I went to the store and was it? <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Hold on. Sorry, I've just had this weird cough. Um. I did get to the store and um, got her some aspirin. We we talked about the new flea and tick collar that I got from the tractor supply company yesterday. And um, it's one of those Soresto collars. I put that on her just yesterday and then that night she had another seizure. I mean a big bad seizure. So he thinks that there may be some correlation between that and the drops that I put on her before because, well, I put the drops on her and um, a couple weeks later is when she had her first seizure. Um, and then I, th those drops have not worn off yet and then I put this new collar on her and um, then she had the bad seizure. So he thinks that might be um, part of it too. Um, so we took the collar off and it's in the trash. And, you know, it's like almost 60 bucks down the drain, but you know what, I don't care. Um, I took it off her, so we're going to have to think of something different to treat the ticks in particular. And so he's ordered me a collar that doesn't have the same kind of chemicals that traditional um, 
you know, flea colors do in them. And so as soon as it comes in, he's going to call me and I'm going to go pick it up. Um, what else? During the neuro check, her pupillary response wasn't what he wanted it to be. And then I described the symptoms she was having, you know, and then I, I brought up the um, old dog vestibular disease. And we talked about that a little bit. And he says it could be that. Um, it could be that she has a brain tumor. Um, and he, we just don't know at this point. So we talked about um, putting her on medication. And he says he is not one to go to that right away. He says he'd rather wait and see. Um, we talked about her diet and the fact that I had fed her mostly people food. We went over the kinds of foods that I feed her. And he said that that was all right. <clears throat> um, goodness. Um, he said that that was all right. And... Uh, but there's some dog foods that are actually okay for dogs. So we talked about that a little bit. Um, so I don't know if the, the, the reintroduction of kibble into her diet has caused this. Um, all I know is that she wasn't having any symptoms of hypoglycemia when I was feeding her people food. So the course of action for now is just going to be no more flea and tick drops, no more flea and tick collars. Um, until this other caller comes in, I did purchase heartworm medication, and we talked about that. And um, there's no way that I'm going to let her get heartworm. And I know that some dogs have trouble with it, but he felt comfortable enough introducing that into her regime right now, so she started on heartworm med medication. So, two aspirins, um, I mean one aspirin twice a day. And he thinks that if she had had a stroke at some point, or... Um, I have other issues related to, you know, the vascular and neurological system that the aspirin would help, and it will also help the arthritis. So we're going to do that. I got her the enteric coated kind, and, um, and she took one and she didn't throw it up. And she's had the heartworm thingy and she didn't throw that up, so that's good. And so, yeah, her blood sugar was 50, and that's pretty low. Um, that's not catastrophically low, but it's pretty low. Um, it's low enough to affect the behavior in dogs. So we're thinking that that's part of what's going on with her. That it could be arthritis and it could be hypoglycemia. So he has suggested that I could give her a teaspoon of honey a couple times a day. And it's so interesting because I've got some smart people in my comment section. I've always said that, but there's been multiple people who said, is her blood sugar low? It's okay, girlfriend. There she goes. Right on. Okay. So, um, it's music to my ears. Right there. Yep. So, um, no infection. Um, and uh, we're going to get her fixed. Um, as soon as she shows. <coughs> that she's stable we're going to get her fixed because female dogs as they age um, and I had a dog who passed away because of this, my beloved husky and so I need to get her fixed as soon as possible because they can develop a very serious uterine infection called pyrometra hang on, hang on <laughs> somebody was walking by out front um, so we're going to get her fixed because they can't. the uterus can end up developing an infection and it can um, rupture can become like an abscess rupture and go into the bloodstream. So as soon as we know that she's stable, I'm going to get her fixed. Um, I was going to try and breed her one time, but there's absolutely no way I'm going to do that now. Plus, I don't know. I, I I don't know that I could trust people to raise people pro people puppies properly in this day and age because so many people are just stupid about them. Um, so she was very well behaved in the vet clinic here. Let me just show you a little clip of her. What you doing, girlfriend? Come here, Betty. Come on. Alright, that's a good girl. You had your blood drawn. Look sick at all. Good baby. 
Anyway, she was well behaved. She just wanted to snuggle up next to Dr. Harris, just wanted to get up in his lap, basically, which was, which was comforting to know. And so this doctor, he's kind of old school, and he says, I'm old school, and I says, old school is still cool. And he was very kind. And um, we got her nails trimmed, thank goodness, because she's, it's been an awful long time since I've been able to trim her nails, and the quick has grown so long. And uh, that can become a real problem. So he's going to be able to keep me up on that, too, because she had no problems with him trimming the nails. I mean, she was just... I, I think it's just sometimes some people are just really, really good with a pit bull breed. Maybe all breeds, but this doctor was great. He, um, Dr. Harris in um, Jackson at the Airways. Is it Airways? I can't remember the name of the clinic, but he was absolutely phenomenal. So, um... I don't know if I'm going to do another video for tomorrow. I might. I don't know that I have anything to talk about. I think I just would like to maybe take a day to relax. So, uh, well, just let's just uh, leave this here. And um, she seems to be okay today, but just last night it was so scary. It was just the most terrifying thing ever. But I've been feeling your prayers, and I've been feeling your pro positive energy. Um, and it's just... It means so much. It means an awful lot. And, you know, the best way that you can help me and this channel right now is just to watch the videos and let them play, share them, um, you know, vote on them. Even a down vote still counts as activity. So down votes are also good. Um, some people just really don't like my, just really don't like my videos or don't like me. So they're going to down vote me, but they need to know that that still is a positive for me. Um, that still shows activity which in increases my ratings, which increases the likelihood that other people are going to see my videos. So voting, watching, sharing, all those things um, just help so, so much. And it makes me feel good knowing that people are watching and, and whatnot. Um, and leaving comments. Leaving comments is, is just amazing too. And I've said this before, but I have the best comment section on the internet, you know, and I know that a lot of you comment on, on other uh, channels that are, that are like mine, and so you're just, spare, you're just sharing your goodness and your love all over the internet, and that's important in this day and age, because there's so many out there who are incapable of that kind of kindness, but you guys are, and I love you all, so that's all I got for you today. Here, let me show you. One clip. Hey, Betty. Hey, girlfriend. What you doing? They drew blood out of her neck. <laughs> yes, you're good. <laughs> oh, and another thing I forgot to tell you is my battery died. <laughs> it, I knew it was going dead. Um, it's it's an old battery, and I was afraid maybe the alternator is going bad too. And I'm still not convinced that's not the problem. But um, I have one of those jump starters, um, so I had that all charged up, put it in the van. I was able to get the van started this morning. Um, yesterday when I went into town, I had to start it up um, with my jump starter to get home. Um, so I, I went to the vet and um, the needle went all the way down to nothing. And that little dial started just doing nothing. Um, so I got, I got done with her vet appointment and um, uh, I was able to get it jump started. Um, with my little battery pack, got all the way to AutoZone, and they put a new battery in, and she started right up. Um, and I watched the battery needle, and it didn't seem to be draining as I was driving, so that's a good thing. But still, I, I'm still not convinced that it's not the alternator. So I was able to accomplish all that. You know, it's like when it rains, it pours, but it all turned out okay, and I'm home safe and sound now. So now that's all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.